my name's Jennifer and I'm from Bridge the Gap. At Bridge the Gap, we teach children all about emotions, what they are, how they feel, and we teach them new ways of sitting with those emotions and moving through them. So I'm going to be reading a story all about that. And this one is called When I Care About Others. Hurt, somebody cares. See, there's a lot of sad looking people here. If you look on their faces, you can see they look quite sad. And here we have Bear who is crying. So it's easy to see he's sad. His friend Rabbit looks very concerned about him. It's okay to cry if you've been hurt. It doesn't mean you're not being brave. It's a very good way of moving through the emotion of being hurt, having a cry. So don't worry if you cry when you'll hurt yourself, that's okay. Somebody cares when I'm sick. And here you can see this little bear's not very well and he's grown up, maybe it's his mum or his grandma. She's looking after him. She's giving him medicine, taking his temperature and oh, touching his head. And you know, that just feels so lovely when I'm not very well. If someone strokes my head, it helps me to feel very nice and very safe. So I love that. When I'm sad, somebody helps me feel better. I need others to care about me. And we do, we all need other people to care about us. And at the moment, because everything feels quite different, we all need to be caring about each other, don't we? And there's lots of different ways that we can do that. Um, showing kindness is always a very good place to start, just by being kind. Others need me too. I care when someone is sick. This is really nice. This bear is looking after his friend, with the, putting a plaster on. And here, this bear is visiting, maybe it's his granddad or his dad or his mum or grandma, and bringing some flowers. And that's lovely when you don't feel very happy or you feel poorly to show somebody that you care by taking them some flowers. Maybe you've picked them out your garden. But when you don't feel very well, being able to smell flowers, touch flowers, have a bit of nature around you is a really nice way to feel better and to make somebody else feel better. When someone is sad, I help him feel better. Oh dear. Again not looking very happy. But on this face, this bear's face, he's got a smile, he's shaking a rattle trying to make, maybe that's his little brother or sister, trying to make them feel better, which is very kind. I care about others. Ooh, biscuits, biscuits. If somebody wants to make me feel better, a cup of tea and biscuits is a very good place to start. That's a very kind thing to do. Others have the same feelings I have. I don't like to be teased, so I don't tease. That's very true because we all have lots of different feelings and emotions. And sometimes they're not very easy to be with, are they? Um, if we feel sad or worried or hurt, um, even excited, sometimes they can be very big emotions to deal with. So we try not to make other people feel the emotions that we don't like to feel. So here, these two are teasing Rabbit, which isn't very nice because you can see that Rabbit looks very sad. I don't push because I don't like to be pushed. It's not nice to push, is it? But do you know, sometimes we've all pushed because we're all learning to find different ways to cope with these big emotions. And sometimes we can get angry, maybe a bit frustrated, maybe if we're, even if we've been hurt and we can push without really thinking about it. And that's okay because we all do that. But that's why learning about emotions is so important because that allows us opportunity to find different ways, better ways of coping with that emotion. So if you have pushed, forgive yourself, we've all done it, and then find other ways and exploring emotion, talking about it is a good place to start with that. I am friendly because I like it when someone is friendly to me. This looks like it's a picture taken from a classroom at a school. A lot of you won't be at school at the moment, so you might feel quite sad about that. You might feel happy about that if you don't particularly like going to school. 
it's okay to feel however you do about the situation. But this is a nice picture because it looks like they're all being kind to each other. They're having some lots of playing, dressing up. It's a very nice picture. When someone shares with me, it feels good. So I share too. It is lovely when someone shares with us. We really like that feeling, don't we? But it's not always easy to share with somebody else. Sometimes we can find that difficult. But finding out the right ways to share at the right times and giving it a go and seeing how it makes you feel when you make the other person happy is a nice thing to do. They're sharing the umbrella to keep them dry. That's a nice thing to do. I say nice things because I am happy when someone says nice things to me. I love it when people say nice things to me. I try to help others. I feel glad when I can help. It is lovely to help others. This is lovely because he's outside helping pick up all the vegetables from the vegetable patch. And you know, being outside at the moment when things feel so different and perhaps a little difficult is a really good thing to do. That's a really good way of working through our emotions is by being outside and doing things in the garden, being with nature. Maybe you can count how many different flowers you can see if you're lucky enough to have a garden. Maybe if you've not got a garden but you're going on a walk, see how many different things you can see on your walk. I can imagine how others feel and I treat others the way I want them to treat me. Do you know that is a very clever thing to be able to do? To be able to think about how that person might feel here, his friend's balloon's blown away, so he's given his balloon to her. But how lovely and very clever to be able to think like that. I care about others and others care about me. That's so true. And it can be very difficult, especially at the moment, because we can't see everybody we care about. But that doesn't mean that they don't care about us still. And it certainly doesn't mean we don't care about them either. We all still care about each other. It's just finding different ways to show that, isn't it, when we can't be with them in person. So maybe you could write a letter, draw a picture, maybe speak to them on the telephone. There's lots of different ways. But just thinking about someone is a really nice thing to do when you're not with them. Don't worry that that person doesn't care about you because they can't see you because you don't stop caring about someone just because you can't see them or be with them all the time. And do you know something else? At Bridge the Gap, we care about every single one of you. So I hope you enjoyed that story. I look forward to reading another story with you very soon. Bye.